next. We got future. Oh, this is going to be a great match. Future versus Christ. Yes. There's an amazing Luigi player. I got to play him today. What do you think of him? Oh my god, like perfect spacing, perfect combos, knows how to get down safely, like just immaculate play. You guys are, are really in for something amazing. Well, yeah, I've actually heard a lot about Crisis and I'm excited to see how he performs today. Um, we're going to see him against his uh, future's Ness, which of course got him to the PR. Yes. Uh, he also has a Pikachu if it... Uh, if he requires it. And he also has a Captain Falcon that he brings out to tournament every once in a while. Mm, yeah, I don't know, in this matchup, you might want to go for your, with your uh, character that you have more experience with, you know? Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Alright. So, if you're living on stage right now, in terms of this matchup, I would probably opt for FB if I was Crisis. Yeah. Given that he gets better landing traps on that stage. No platforms for an S to retreat to. And in general, like, it's either you land on stage as Ness and you take a punish most of the time or you have to retreat to the ledge. Yeah. And Luigi has tools for both of those scenarios. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, I would say that the range that Luigi operates at and the fact that he's so aerial, but the fact that Ness has a bunch of disjoint aerials makes me think that he might do okay in that in that sense too. Yes, that's for sure. Like Ness also uh, known for not really having the best mobility, and that might come into effect in this matchup where Luigi can put on this mid-range pressure. Yes. You know, here. Right now, Crisis has the lead, been able to get like three confirmed in a row and some damage, but he just firing right back. The beautiful neutral right here, so safe. Dash grab and right out of that. Mm -hmm. Landing with the up air, always a good idea. Yeah, the up air is very positive on shield, especially against Luigi. So we noticed that there's a crisis hit a trump. This is going to come into play later. And immediately Ness uh, buffered roll, but we're going to see that if Crisis reads that, he's probably going to go for a dashing up smash later on to kill him. We're trying to bait out the, the trump buffer. Yes, that's true. Using that... Uh but pre-game, like, early game conditioning in order to set up for a kill. Exactly, exactly. A lot of people do. I know, he's got him up the ledge, and isn't necessarily the best place for Luigi. Oh! Oh my god. Like, he does have a jump, however, he's going to make it back. Mm -hmm. Reach the roll. Beautiful, beautiful. He's in the lead. So let's see if that comes back into play. I, I, I do think he'll get another up smash roll. I, I, I feel like that's what he's been conditioning towards. Mm, that is true. And Crisis has been able to get a few of his dash grabs off his conversions. So Future maybe needs to sit back and play a bit more patiently. No? Mm -hmm. I agree. Dash can do a good job at uh, interrupting Luigi in that scenario. Yes. It's a, it is a great move. You have to hold shield a little bit longer. Most people aren't prepared. Most people want perfect shields, buffer punish, you know? That's true. But as we say that, Future taking off that stock in crisis. He's only got 46%, so he can afford to get the fight one more combo before he... Oh, this is, this is a tough position at this point. I mean, Luigi's combos will work a little bit less here. But at the same time, you know, now he's opening himself up to things like up B, you know? That's true. Because uh, at this percent, if he rolls wrong, or if he just lands with some Something unsafe. Not gonna be good. Oof, 109. Not a good place to be. So here, if he gets the up smash, roll punish, that could be it. Definitely true. Gets a fourth throw off. Out of beating that up smash, very nice amount. Oof, oof! Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful edge guard. We can talk about a lot how Crisis is doing a great job avoiding Future's edge guard attempts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Future burns one of the the back throws, and that's going to be important because that may mean that uh, he stales it a little bit, and so that may come into play in, a in just right now. I think he just decided, you know, even though it's not guaranteed, I want the edge guard. I've been doing well here on the edge. Louis just having a hard time getting back. That's important. Let's into the back throw. Not yep, and there's the staling. If he didn't stale it, he would still be alive right now. That's yeah, very true. Oh, wow. Yeah. Grab tilt, nice. And a very nice Rain. trap going out from there. I'm pretty sure he was dead, like, no matter what he did right there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be in that position. I mean, <laughs> that was really stressful edge guarding. That was really amazing. No, being 
uh, above Ness when he's sitting on the ground. It's not what you want to <laughs> But you know, it was interesting because I don't see a lot of Nesses use that up tilt like that. Yeah. And it was totally safe. A kill move. That was beautiful. I really like that. It definitely threw me off guard with uh, how I was able to kill. Yeah, right? You usually discount that option, but it worked out for Fruitier right there. Yeah, I would have thought, you know, maybe an up smash, but the up tilt was beautiful. I like that. Yeah, really good play coming out. On a game two. <laughs> so, Future is gonna... Looks like they opted for FD. Yeah, they opted for FD again. I don't know what stage would be worse in the scenario. Anyway. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you, you, you think, you know, you figure them out, it's not better. It's not good to just risk another stage because you have no idea what's gonna happen with a new stage. Of course. And I, I, I think I think Crisis thinks he had a read on him. Uh, Might as well go with that. Ooh, a little risky, but yeah, risky. Yes, man. I'm for it. So right now, you think Future is just playing a bit more patient than the first game? I would say the opposite. I mean, I feel like he's going in a little bit, but it's more like punishing. Yeah, he's like playing a punish game basically. He knows exactly what distance he can safely throw out stuff, and Crisis has to adapt to those to save like it. Uh, he's basically gonna get hit by Nestlings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be up there and knowing that he was doing the land with an air right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, actually, up there is an out of that air dodge. Right now, Future's got to be very careful because he did get the very early uh, reset. Uh -huh. But right now, it's looking very bad for him if he misspaces something he gets hit by pretty much anything that he has. And uh, of course, what we're, what we're looking for is the grab from Ness. So that's the easiest kill confirm at this point. Yes, of course. Let's see how he... And it, it, it's interesting because in some ways Ness is easier to beat while landing, but he's really good about always landing with that bear, and it's... it's oh, whoa, that should have been it right there. Yeah, that definitely should have been the end of the stock, but Price is actually going to get the bad end of that deal right there. You know, it's a weird thing, Trumps, because when you trump someone, you almost have no time to react. You pretty much have to buffer the back of the... You have to buffer the bear. Of course. And... When you do that and you're wrong, then you could just die. Yeah, and that's the uh, really bad thing about just being on the ledge against a character that can kill you so easily as Ness. So it makes sense that he just trumped and then got back to the stage, because at least he he still has a little bit of pressure up on the stage, but but yeah, it's a tough thing, trumping in general. Yeah, of course. Right now, Future has Crisis off stage. He's going to opt actually to cover high for the first time. Smart. Really smart. Yeah. Oh, there's a trade with the back air. Mm -hmm. Not to be the best the Future. I just love this play. I mean, look, it's just... I know, it's just... Fair retreat. Fair retreat. Bear retreat. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, just barely. Wow. Barely taking off Future's stock and we're going I, to game I'm just shocked right now. Yeah, that I'm was a shock. That was very surprising. I did not expect that to kill. Mm -hmm. Future, is Future not having the best DI with that, for sure. Oh, for sure. But who could have expected that? Who could have expected that? Yeah, it's just... Oh. No. <laughs> So I'm wondering what the stage choice could be. Could be. So this is a weird situation where they both pick FD, so actually technically FD is banned. Yes, if we're using modified stage. They would have to both agree. And In situations like this, I often just say, even though I just won on FD, I'm banning it. Just to throw them off a little bit, you know? You know. And speaking of which, we might be opting for Smash Roll, and we are. Yep, this is a great stage for Nass. Okay. I know this is Future's favorite stage. It really is, because it can get that very early back for a kill percent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Due to the shorter blast time, I know, this is actually going to be a very... Uh, great with punish. It's going to be a very special game for both these players right now. They know that they're really similar in skill. They know that they both play super patiently and just waiting for the other person to sweat and make a mistake. That is very true, and it's a skill that a very uh, talented player needs to have. It's just amazing patience. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He hasn't used that really very much. Yeah, Crisis has been keeping all these very good mix-ups available for what he absolutely needs them. Mm -hmm. That's especially evident right here. You can get side to go through. Oh, he jabs it on his shield. Uh, that's probably a panic option to try and just cover himself with whatever. Yeah, you know, a tomahawk, uh, tomahawk jab. 
I don't know what it's technically called, but you know, empty empty landing jab. That's a really powerful option most of the time. Yeah. Good on uh, on Ness for. Oh, oh, he won. That should have been up B right there, yeah. but it was good he didn't do it. Of course. Wow. And Crisis is going to take that first stack. He's only got 68%. Alright, so right now, what Future needs to No. Alright. Yeah, that was exactly what Future We're did. even. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Right now, I can definitely see Future wanting to stay a bit reserved right now because he got hit a lot that first stock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. Yeah, he's probably just gonna... He's gonna go in very briefly. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. That's 30 right there. Yeah, 30. But Christ is catching on. He's, he knows he wants... To oh, no. These shield grabs. Yes. You can see this... Uh, these little interactions where both players are just adapting a tiny bit and getting their conversions off of it. Look at this spacing. It's just like, I don't... None of them want to go into their zone. Exactly. <laughs> Like over the course of this set, they've been conditioned to think, okay, oh, somebody's got to commit first. Up and back to stage. Oh, so threatening right there. <laughs> the walk back is the telltale sign of them knowing. <laughs> that is just how you know. That was amazing. Okay, there it is. He's, that, it's an awesome landing option, but it's even better if you only use it sparingly. Yes, that's true. Using it in conjunction with other uh, mix-ups is very good, and I think Crisis needs to start doing that, to be honest. Alright, here we go. Okay. This shouldn't kill. I, I wonder what he's going for. Yeah. I think he just wanted the damage. Oof! Oh, man. The creative, Ooh. creative shield pressure coming up from <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this. It's like... When his shield is low, this is the time that he has to go in and start spacing stuff, you know? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Oh. As long as he knows that Feature isn't going to do something preemptive, it's his opportunity. Right now... Very close. Pretty much anything. These bears are beautiful. Yeah. Oh, oh, that really. Wow, there's just no lag on that uh, up smash, I guess. No, not really. Okay. Oh, runs in with the dash deck. I was telling you before, that's a very good first option against Luigi mm -hmm. if he's going to be looking for that grab. Oh, oh first yeah. Hit again with the Cyclone. Alright, so what's. I mean, they're both. Like, he'll, I don't know if he's back throwable. I think he is, though. Yes, most likely. If he can catch him. Oh, with the back air? Oh! And that's oh! do it! Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Such a nicely placed back air right there, and that's going to end the set.